Thank you. Well, what was your first reaction when you saw your animated character? Well, I was very lucky in that, and I got to meet uh, Victor uh, just before the session. So just as I was kind of finding out who he might be, I walked into the room, into the recording studio, and there he was. Did you? And there was the chorus bride and everyone. So that was very uh, yeah, helpful. The amazing thing is, people have said it, there's, there is a, some degree of resemblance. But the funny thing is they came up with those designs like a year before. Did you have any creative input into that, or did you? No. No? No. no, no. They were locked in. <laughs> you were wonderful in the movie, by oh, the way. So. I loved, loved it. such a great, what a great opportunity for this cast. You know, Alan Avon Carter, Albert Finney, Emily Watts. Did, did you find that uh, voiceover is more difficult than acting on camera? It's, it's more something? difficult, but it's, uh, I did go in there thinking, yeah, this doesn't seem like it's so difficult. You got a piece of paper, you read the thing, God records it, and you're done. Mm -hmm. um, not that at all. Um, it's much more like, you know, you're not, you're doing scenes with people you've never met, and they're not there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're reading, you know, certainly it's coming, your, 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 your job is to pull this, these words off the paper, salt and pepper them, you know, just layer them with stuff, and then send it out there uh, in a very, yeah, in a very non-organic environment. Mm -hmm. So uh, I wouldn't say it's as difficult as, as filmmaking, movie making, but, uh, but it's, it's not it's so easy. Either. <laughs> well, you were great. Thanks. Thanks so much. John, this is your fifth collaboration with Tim Burton. Well, how, can you describe what the, the, the dynamic is between the two of you when you're working? And uh, also, do you think that you guys sort of bring out the best in each other? Because it sort of seems that way when we work together. Oh, thanks. Um, mm -hmm. I just think he's a genius, you know, and that's not a word that, that you can sort of throw around very easily. I think Tim is so special, so unique. Um, our working relationship is, uh, as you can imagine, weird. <laughs> it's, you know, there, there is a, a sort of emotional shorthand there. There's, a, there's this language that even crew guys have come up to me and said, I just watched you and Tim discussing the scene, and I had no idea what you were saying. I just had a word. Um, but there's a there is there is some kind of connection that I can't that I I don't know how to uh, explain. But most of the time, at least for, for me, all, all I'm trying to do is make him laugh. You know, even in I mean in the scene, you can have all these motivations and objectives as an actor and stuff. And then when I get in the ring, it basically opens out the window and I'm just trying to make Tim laugh. I just want to see it in my peripheral vision. I want to see his sort of hunched over <laughs> giggle where he's trying to, you know, not make sense, noise. Hi, I'm just wondering, uh, when you first spoke about Tim Burton and the inspiration that you received from other people, those little tidbits that you keep in your pocket, I'm wondering what you think, uh, what kind of character you might inspire in another actor if they were to take those tidbits from you? Why? <laughs> <laughs> That's dangerous territory. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know that I'm in a position to inspire anyone, but I, I, um, I don't know how to answer that. I honestly don't. Um, I really don't know how to answer it. I'm actually, I'm, you got me. <laughs> Johnny, further about the collaboration with, with Tim, uh, how has it evolved over time? Was there a point where it started feeling like a partnership? Is it all like a marriage? And do you expect to grow old together? Well, I, mean, I sure hope so, you know. But that's, that's up to you guys. Because when you see Tim, you have to tell him, you have to force him to give me another job. <laughs> um, Funny, the process itself hasn't changed at all since since Edward Scissorhands. I mean, even on Scissorhands, we were just getting to know one another and feeling one another out, um, and building that foundation, that all important foundation of trust. Um, 
it was still the same, you know. He would come in and say, you know, this is this is where I think we should go, and this is this is this and that, you know. And, and, but at the same time, uh, what do you think? And so I add my two cents, and then which wouldn't you know give him another idea, and just sort of it would mount up into this insanity, and uh, uh, which somehow there was this trust before we knew that we could trust one another. So I mean, the process is exactly the same. It's, it's a very he includes you in, in um, yeah, almost almost every single level of the, of the production. It's pretty amazing. We are uh, uh, living with Jack Sparrow for another year of your life. How is the experience of, uh, of what what are you discovering in this kind of about him? And uh, how is the experience of making two movies at the same time? Um, well, I've just discovered that. It occurs to me that I think Jack Sparrow can be, uh, he can be funny. Uh, so I'm going to try that this time. I'm just going to try and be funny. Uh, no, I don't know. Um, selfishly, you know, <clears throat> the whole idea of, you know, of, of sequels and stuff like that, 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 you know, it's a very odd notion because, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's it's probably somebody's tape the ground. Constantly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.